Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May the 21st of 2021. Well, it is titled Utopia on Mars. So what do we see here? Well, here is an image of the surface of Mars. And we've looked at a lot of them recently from the various rovers that are exploring Mars. This one is actually a little older going back to 1976 and is part of the Viking 2 program, which was an early lander on Mars. You can actually see the foot pad of the lander down towards the lower right where it landed on the surface. And straight ahead, you can see two little grooves dug in to the Martian soil. And this was done by the lander and it was done to explore and to pick up samples of that. And in fact, to dig down a little bit below the surface of Mars, which is completely sterilized by ultraviolet radiation from the sun, and to see if there were any possibility of finding some kind of microbial life on Mars. And of course, we know now that the, this was very inconclusive that we couldn't find any direct evidence of life. But it is something we still search for because we've only searched very limited areas. And of course, having the rovers now allows us to explore a slightly larger area, but it is still only a tiny portion of the surface of Mars that has been directly explored. Now the other thing that you see there is one of the protective covers that was on the soil collector head. So that was ejected off. So if you see that piece of metal, it looks like off to the right hand side, that was what was covering the soil sample collector and uh, had to be of course ejected off before the samples could be taken. Now when we look at the surface itself, we do notice the distinct reddish brown color caused by iron oxides in the soil. So iron in the soil has picked up oxygen, there is no oxygen in the atmosphere of Mars, but it is picked up and tied down into the surface into iron oxide or a kind of rust, which gives it this reddish brown color and makes Mars known as the red planet. Now exploration of Mars has continued since the Vikings back in the 1970s. And we currently have the Perseverance uh, rover as well as the Curiosity rover exploring the surface of Mars. And in fact, a recent uh, rover from China has also just touched down on Mars just a week ago and returned its first um, area first exploration of that uh, that region of Mars where it landed knowing known as Utopia Planish Planitia. So it is exploring and we so there are now three active rovers on the surface of Mars exploring that and we see as we look out here not only the red color but also the, dis, the large number of rocks in this portion of Mars. And that really depends on what portion of Mars you're on. But this looks like a great field of rocks. So you can imagine it would be very difficult to land here and had to of course look for something that was relatively smooth to land on. So if your landing pad happened to be on one of these rocks, you could very easily tilt the spacecraft over and then not be able to uh, explore as expected. So here we see the surface of Mars from Viking in 1976. So that was our picture of the day for May the 21st of 2021. It was titled Utopia on Mars. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.